while it's true that generally an implication and its converse are, are not the same thing, they don't have the same truth value, what you can have is a scenario where both directions, this, the original conditional and its converse, where those are both true. And when both of those are true, what we can have is something called the biconditional. And you'll notice here that in the biconditional, it's got this sort of double-sided arrow because it's saying that P implies Q and it's the case that Q implies P. This is the idea where, where P and Q are sort of like equivalent properties. If you have one, you get the other. And if you have the other, you get the initial one. So let's try to figure out what this works in terms of some statements. Uh, if I study hard, then I will pass. So that was the statement P implies Q. But I can also go the other way around. This probably applies to most of us. I could say if I pass, then I studied hard. So this is the statement Q implies P. And you'll notice that, that what I'm having here is if I combine these two together and I think of them as one statement, it's a conjunctive statement, a statement with an and in it. It's got one implication, P implies Q, and it's got a second implication, Q implies P. And the way I should think about this is that if we exclude people like me or people who have a lot of familiarity with material, they can just sort of sit down and not bother studying at all and just pass the test already. Although truly for myself, that's just because I studied a long time in the past. If we exclude those type of cases, this is probably true. You need to study hard in order to pass. And if you pass, you did indeed study hard. So both of these different implications are going to be true, and I can combine them in a kind of nice way. Look at my phraseology here. I say, I will pass, and I use this funny word, funny phrase, if and only if I study hard. So whenever we write that, whenever we say this sort of if and only if thing here, this is a way of saying that both directions are going to be true. It's, it's a way of saying, if I study hard, then I will pass. And if I passed, then I study hard. That's what I have here. The, the first of these ifs is referring to the stop statement. And the second of them, the one that says only if, is referring to the other way around. The if I passed, then I studied hard. So mathematicians really like this phrase, this if and only if, as a as sort of a shorthand for talking about biconditionals, as a shorthand for having a conjunctive statement with two different conditionals written down. They just put, if one thing, this is the passing, the thing I want to have, that's going to be true if and only if I study hard.